Hello guys, Toxic Sun here, and today I'm back with another Minecraft episode, and today we are going to strip mine, and uh, bring some wood on me, one, two, three, four, strip mining is pretty simple, so, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, we're going to go through a bunch of iron picks. So, strat here, jump down. Three, four, we're not four block out. I know diamonds can't sit perfectly in the middle of this, but I found four block gaps are optimal. What some of my friends do is they, uh, after every four or five blocks, they'll mine out like this. My issue with doing that is it's pesky. And sometimes it makes you get lost, or it can help you get lost and just it's like an itch. Diamonds would be optimal. I'm just gonna try it out for a little bit and see how it goes. I don't like doing this though because you don't get like half the cobble you mine. Cobble, you need it. It's normally the stuff you're gonna make all your first industrial builds out of, so. Alright, watch this trip. Sometimes if you do it too quick, it doesn't update the gravel. It's taking a minute. Diamonds. I do not like this strategy very much. It's all right, I'll go to bed. That's a huge iron vein. Oh my goodness. The other one we found was like two or three of those just mushed together. So much iron is crazy. Your water should just cave pretty close. It's above me.
search. Hey, gold. All right. I mean, it's just for golden apples. Honestly, my time lapse is first bit. Yeah, if I'm doing that, then you can't hear me. Actually, I probably won't. It's on lazy. Oh, is this episode five? right out of my mouth, I was about to say, where's red sound? Oh, it's all more common than this. Diamonds take a minute, man. The blessings of efficiency three and a beacon have spoiled me. Ooh, lapis, alright, this helps with enchanting. The reason I got a cow farm and a sugar farm going so early is because enchanting, we need bookcases, which takes, yeah, we need like pretty much a stack of okay. lava. This is good and bad. It's lava, which is, means it's dangerous, but it's good because diamonds like to spawn. Here, this lava stuff, okay. Now, you're like, oh no, this is so dangerous. There's your solution. Now, there, it is multiple layers deep, so... I bet you if I mine this block, there'll be more. Oh, really? I don't hear anymore, I think. That entire thing is just one thing. It's kind of bizarre. Right, well, if I need obsidian, there's some obsidian. It takes forever to mine, but we can get another portal. So next, I want to get an AFK little mob farm. Well, this one's a little bit more ambitious, though. So. Oh yeah, I forgot. Torches. I was holding it in my hand, so I thought the whole thing was lit up, but it actually isn't. I'm not going to build a gold farm until 1.16 drops. I don't really want to go to the nether until Wednesday. Because if they drop the pre-release, then I'm going to switch this world to the pre-release. So I've not generated the nether yet, so... I shouldn't have to about switching any files around, if that's the case. Goodness gracious, there's no dime. Thanks. 
so it's going to be called strip mining woes. So I don't even think Y12 is the best of mine. There's lava. How far out are we? Solid. Anyway, strip mining. Like, the idea of strip mining shafts is that they're, like, perfectly distanced that there are already diamonds in between. We'll go grab it. You need a lot more redstone than you think. It's like, alright. I'm just like, ah, oh, a stack or two would do forever. No, not if you're building machines like I do. My machines aren't smart like mumbo jumbo where you can make a crazy uh, auto smelter with one piece of redstone. No, um, mine take a lot more. Honestly, an item sword wouldn't be that bad to get soon-ish, but the issue is just item swords are kind of complicated. Actually kind of expensive, too. In terms of iron and redstone. It's a nice cave. This definitely has some diamonds somewhere in it. Yeah, if your left hand function takes a right click, and your right hand function takes a right click, it prioritizes the right hand. In the world? Is that not generated? Break the torch. Bats, they're completely harmless. Don't worry about them. Oh, 
We'll mine that coal later. I need to save my pickaxe for ability. Yeah. What did I just hear? It scared the crap out of me. That's whatever. I'm gonna head back. My pickaxe is about to break and this. Alright. So one long strip line right there. So, strip mining is the best tactic, for, uh, in my opinion. But, you know, we just spent 16 minutes strip mining for cobblestone, pretty much. Then we got lapis, we got redstone, we got iron. Materials. Honestly, if I'd have known what I would have got, I would have done it all off camera. chest monster. Chest monster, it's just your first terms of storage normally. Just piles of chests. No point of organization. Just a cluttered jumble of chests. It's beautiful. It really is. We're gonna harvest this. Should be all of it. So we got a nice sugarcane farm going. Gonna have some pretty nice. I was after I beat all these guys. Purple. Maybe. Not a little bit longer. I, I've never messed around with potatoes in this texture pack. save that last row, and uh, probably should save the last two for those. If you don't go in there, go in there. Uh, all these guys are growing up. Oh, whoops. Still have this in my offhand. Until they barely, they 
you shouldn't really be worried about killing them until they barely can move in the cage. Then you kill them because that's a lot of caps, and it might even be enough if you bring them down to like eight or so cows after that that you no longer have to kill cows. There's 16 string. We're gonna get a few more fishing rods made and then I'm gonna hit a fish farm. Placed in there, I recommend offloading all your items. If you somehow do die, all you'll lose is your fishing rod and your levels. You don't lose any hunger from this, you don't lose any anything for that matter. There's double chest, here's my items. Um, take your armor off as well. Load up your pal bar and fish away. Now, you're going to want to keep an uh, eye on this. Now, if one breaks or gets close to breaking, just flick your mouse wheel. Set easy. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, drop a like. See you in the next one.